Hey guys, I have something special to show you, so come check it out. <clears throat> Welcome back to the Joe Jaguar Show. I got a special item for you, an accessory to our hobby, of course. Thank you for everyone that's subscribed lately. Thanks to everyone that's been subscribed for a long time. So here we go. So I have what's called a Ruby turret. Now I have to admit, okay, I have never owned a turret. I've heard of them, but from my knowledge, they're a bit expensive and um, a bit specialized. So I've never owned one. And I was sent this item for testing. And what's neat, is they actually contacted me, I didn't contact them. So that was great. I got this from someone in the UK, Andrew Smith. So if you see this, thank you very much. Uh, but they also have, I guess, a dealer or a distributor, I think, in the USA. So it came from the USA and not the UK. It is not so cheap. I believe there's two models, one that just comes in a styrofoam box and that's in UK money, and the one that comes in a nice aluminum box, and that's 9.95 UK. Now, in Canadian money, that converts to about 1,700. Now, to tell you the truth, I have never had any accessory to a telescope, I think, that's ever costed quite this much. I've had a couple nice eyepieces. I've had a couple, as you guys know, I got some expensive telescopes, like a couple Takahashi's and things like that. But I don't think I've ever had one accessory that was quite this expensive. This is made by NPAE, which stands for Precision Astro Engineering. So let's take a look at this. So first, a turret is something that you can put on your telescope. And this is a six selector turret, meaning you can put an eyepiece in each of these slots inch and a quarter only not two inch that probably would have been amazing if one of these slots were two inch that way you can have a two inch low power eyepiece and then power up by the inch and a quarter but overall i think that's okay so again you get six inch and a quarter eyepiece slots and so which means now if you watched my show I have a table in my backyard and then you know I put an eyepiece I tell you what I see I focus and then after what I want to change I go to my table I get another eyepiece I tell you what it is and then I uh, explain what I see what's nice about this you can just put six eyepieces in here and go from a very low power to a little bit higher a little bit higher a little bit higher and then high power extreme high power whatever you want you know what I mean so you could already load this on your telescope and then you just click on it and uh, you turn on it and that's it. Click, click, click. That's all it is. So you just click on it. So pretend this is on the telescope. I just turn it, goes to the next power, next power, next power. So I don't have to move or you guys don't have to move. You just load it all up. So that's kind of neat. Now the inside is of course each one has a, a thumb screw, good size. It's brass fitted, so which means it's not gonna mark up your eyepieces, which is to be expected of something of this caliber. Now, I believe this weighs about two pounds. So if you guys are on the threshold, okay, of, uh, you know, balancing or something like that, then maybe you need slightly a better counterweight uh, type of thing. But for most people, you should have enough for two pounds. Uh, you can get like, at Ethos or Nagler eyepieces, which weighs more than this. So it's not too heavy. I like that idea of having multiple eyepieces. And I believe it's also par focal, which means if I, tw by twisting this guy out, I'm not sure if you can see that. So that one is closed and then this one is up a little. So which means you could already set your eyepieces to whatever focus point it is, lock it down. And then it's supposed to be parfocal when changing it to different ones go from let's say normally in the inch and a quarter format for my uh, eyepiece case I would go let's say 24 and a half mead 
uh, super wide to an 18 super wide. Then I go to a 13 Nagler. I can go to a, uh, you know, an, an eight millimeter, a 6.7 ultra wide and a 4.7 ultra wide. I basically have all my powers right there. Uh, if I do need a little bit more power, you can stick in a Barlow in one of them and then Barlow it. Uh, so I think that would prevent or make people not even go like, for instance, me to my table. That's five to 10 second walking distance and then coming back to the telescope. I think that might not be so good if you have a table right next to your telescope. You know, sometimes your telescope is on this angle and then sometimes you twist it to that angle. So it might be in the way sometimes if you're that close when you're looking a 360 in the sky. So take that into consideration. Your table should probably be about three feet away. Um, so if you do this, then you're virtually eliminating walking back and forth all the time. Now this is made of really good quality and I believe it over here in this middle part, you can twist and that's their uh, logo, which is a, like a telescope. And you can untwist that. And I believe that if you ever want to clean, you can get to the mirror there. Or maybe first I would just blow it. As long as you have this guy capped, it like anything, it shouldn't need cleaning super often. So again, this is just a overview of this guy. But so far, it looks like this is made very well. It's CNC machined. It's to be very high quality uh, aluminum. Uh, and it's machined very well. It's, it has a nice weight to it. Uh, I believe them when they have a really nice mirror in here. So um, the mirror obviously is in the center to, uh, and you can only do one at a time, uh, of course. But um, this is something I've seen advertisement of like Unitron telescopes and other high-end telescopes that had something like this. So I would like to test it and see how I like it. But this video right now is just an overview of what this is, who sent it to me. Uh, but so far, everything that I see, I like. Again, it's not so cheap. It's a bit pricey, but I guess, for instance, just to have, let's say a good quality inch and a quarter dielectric diagonal. And if you're talking about a really good one, like the astrophysics at Teleview or any uh, William Optics one like that, you're probably in Canadian money. Since I'm in Canada, I mostly talk about Canada and you know, all you subscribers are from different countries or whatever. So it's just easier. I just say in Canadian money, you can convert it to your exchange rate. But anyway, a good diagonal like that, like those name brands can probably cost you a minimum of like $200. So just take into consideration that these are six in here. And so if you were to like replace or the cost of, you know, cause that's only one eyepiece. So take into consideration, this had to, had to be made to like six to one port. So just saying, if you had to buy a good diagonal of $200 and here it's replacing six of those, you're looking at at least $1,200 right there, not including the mechanism, that type of thing to see. Of course, the overall build quality. So, you know, you're, you're getting into that price range anyway. So maybe that's not so bad after all, okay? So again, that's it for this guy here. I, on the next video, don't know exactly when it's gonna come out, but I wanna test it uh, right now. There's no planets out, but the moon will be back in a couple weeks. So I wanna try it on on the first quarter moon or something like that and put it in six eyepieces, give it a go, see how I like it, see if I like not walking back and forth, let's say six times, you know, go from there. And then I'll give you my opinion, uh, what do I think uh, after using it? But so far, everything to me looks pretty good. Again, they didn't pay me for this video in any way, sort, just testing it uh, for them and giving you my honest review. And after this, I am sending it back to their dealer in the US and I'm not sure if they're gonna sell it there or ship it back to the manufacturer in the UK. But regardless, I appreciate them sending me this. And again, it's called a Ruby turret and made by Precision Astro Engineering. And they've been in business for eight years. 
So I guess that's good. It's not like they just came out right now and you don't know what their quality is going to be. Anyway, guys, like, comment, and subscribe. We're going to test this guy out next. Uh, if you know anybody getting into hobby, share my channel with them. If you guys are on the forums and maybe somebody's asked about a video like this, share my channel link with them. I'd appreciate it. Now, also, I have members videos. And once a month, I put a video up just for the members where the general public or subscribers cannot watch. But it's only 99 cents. So if you guys would like to join, why not? If you don't or you can't, that's okay too i still make a lot of videos for the regular subscribers or for the regular part of the channel now just in case uh you guys are not familiar how to join the patreon members when you go on my channel you should see something that says join you should see uh my main page and then the join is how you do it it's only 99 cents a month so i'm trying to keep it as low as possible anyway guys thank you for watching why not you why not me?